Well, to me, it was totally worth it. Marcy Fernandez is just one of the more than 1,600 residents of Shasta County who relied on the state-led debris removal program to clear their property following the car fire. Can't conceive of doing it myself, and they were very understanding and helpful. Remnants of her home, as well as her husband's workshop, including all the tools, machinery, and heavy equipment, littered her four-acre property. Nothing but charred rubble. But multiply that by 18,000 for the campfire. Now you get an idea of what Butte County and fire survivors there are facing. The removal of hazardous household waste is well underway. But it's going to take months to remove the estimated 5.3 million tons of debris. We want our community to get cleaned up and we want people to rebuild. And this is the first step, getting the fire debris removed. Butte County's Casey Hatcher is urging homeowners to sign up for debris removal. The campfire, now officially the state's most destructive wildfire, came on the heels of the car fire in Shasta County. So that's where they turned their attention as soon as recovery began. Paul Hellman is the director of resource management for Shasta County. He monitored the state debris removal program in his own county. Uh, all of the Stories that I've heard and, and people I've talked to, uh, everyone seems to have been very happy with the results and, and the, the efficiency and the speed at which it all occurred. The debris removal program first taps the homeowner's insurance coverage, but any and all costs after that are picked up by the state program. There is zero cost to the homeowner. In order to use the state's debris removal program, homeowners must complete the right of entry form and turn it in no later than January 31st. You may do that at either the Disaster Recovery Center in the Chico Mall or at the ROE Center in Oroville. Again, the deadline is January 31st. There was a lot of places to clear and I had to wait my turn, but it, it, they did an excellent job. 